Hi guys, and welcome back to... I almost said I almost said Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus again. Welcome back to Beyond Good and Evil. <laughs> I keep screwing them up. And, um, well, last time we came in here and we found some security footage taking our Uncle Page away. The dirty bastards, the doms. We'll get them back yet. Don't worry, guys. So, next, we have to... Well, we have to keep sneaking around a bit. Because we get to go this way. And yeah, we, we took out some of those some more of those security drones. We got a file on different uh, DOMs. Or sorry, different what am I saying? DOMs. Different alpha section equipment and how they work. So we should be able to we should be able to do things easier. So we can't go through this way yet. So can we go through this way? No we cannot. Because, we need a special key. As she said, we need a special key. So we're going to go this way. And left trigger. I'm not going to run into it this time. And... Alright. Okay, that was, that was important. Basically, we have to get to loading in zone 3. But what you're going to want to do here, press the button, open the door, and you just need to get through quickly. So just do some rolling, do some jumping, and eventually this will close behind you. So we can't go back that way. That's okay, because we can go this way. Now is when things start getting tricky, because you start having different heights. I know I know. I said it was going to get tricky earlier, but this is where it really starts getting tricky, because now we have to deal with um, ledges overlooking us. Oh, and by the way, as long as you're hidden, you can use the disc launcher. It will make some noise when it, when it hurts people. That's what that little overture there was, that little... That little spooky music. Um, but again, as long as you, as long as you, um, as long as you're out of sight, you're you're good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, kick this guy, and happen again. Just take him out, cause why not? Evil alpha sections working with the doms and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> or or whatnot. <laughs> um basically what we want to do every time I've done that he's turned around and he's caught me but it doesn't really matter because you can still hit him so basically what you're going to want to do is now you've got set patrols it's kind of like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Ocarina of Time. you just want to make sure that they're not looking at you when you go and again as long as you stay behind stuff they won't be able to see you and if you need to you can drop down here just take a breather. Just make sure that when you do go up, you want to go up on this side. And you want to go after that second guy because otherwise they'll catch you. And just make sure you hold the left trigger when you go up so that you go right into a crouch. Basically, just go right past. I find it weird that they don't hear the doors going up or down or anything, but whatever. Alright, and we're next to another loading thing. And we come back to the same puzzle where we have to duck behind these Nutripills boxes. I'm just going to go down here quick. Because this is actually just an easier way to get past all of them. So that you don't have to just stay behind the Nutripills boxes. Because, as you can see, we're going to have to deal with this guy if we do that. So, we're just going to come over here. And this guy should be turning around. Oh, wait, that's right, that's right. Oh, that's right. No, this is just to hide in case you get caught. So basically what we want to do here is we want to do exactly what I was going to do in the beginning. We just want to keep even with the boxes as it goes past. But I have to wait for the box to come in front of this guy before I can. And oh shoot, we're caught. Just jump right down here, you'll be fine. Yeah, they'll start throwing grenades at you just to take care of the general area. And you're good as long as you just stay out of the way. So, alright. What's going to happen here is it's going to stop on this platform, platform and you're going to want to jump up and hook onto it. So this will take you across and they won't be able to see it. Now, one of the things I've been curious about, I don't know, is if you can actually dive over here. Okay, no you can't. 
I don't know, that'd just be a cool touch. You can get in behind the doms and do stuff. But then you'd be screwed, because there's no way to get back up. So, now we see more crouching and jumping puzzles. Pretty straightforward. Just make sure not to get hit. Because, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I don't think these actually hurt you. They just... Oh, they do hurt you. Okay, I couldn't remember if these ones hurt you or if they just stopped you, but... Well, we found out, didn't we? We'll just need a, need a box of K-Bups to recover all your health. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need to save yet. Alright. So, over here, we get to see the Doms without their without their helmets. We're gonna come back in a little bit, because that's one of the Dom secrets that... Or, the Doms without their helmets. They're al the Alpha section without the, their helmets. We have to come back later, over here, because we gotta take a picture of that guy to reveal the secret. Alright, now, as you can see, there's a button we have to hit here. This will bring back this thing. Just get on it, crouch down, shoot it again, and you're good. Just make sure you're crouched, because when you when you when you go again, you'll get zapped by that thing. Otherwise. I don't know, it's pretty straightforward until we get to the harder stuff. Which isn't again, this is just pretty much an intro to sneaking this this level. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this guy to turn back around. I think we can sneak up here, actually. Yep, okay. This makes things a lot easier. Just wait for him, go up, and kick him, because we're going to be coming back this way. So, it just, ma again, makes things easier for us. Alright, and see, now this here we're going to the puzzles get tricky because they start moving things. Again, not that tricky, and that- wow, I glitched through the laser that time. Oh well. <laughs> See, I'm not even taking my time, usually I just wait for those. But, I heard someone say Miss Thyrus. Did you see the Alpha Sections? Look at their faces, they're no longer human! They're controlled by the Doms. We must inform the entire population of this. Quick, send a picture to the Iris Network. I'll get you looking for a way in. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. But first, we want to talk to you. Oh. Yep, okay. Did you take a course on, in infiltration? Lesson 17. If the guard is alone, try to create a diversion by making a noise. That's the other thing that we can use our um, disc launcher for. If you shoot at a wall somewhere, it basically acts like the used ammo cartridges in Metal Gear Solid. They'll go and look at it. Some help from Carlson and Peters? Lesson 18. Train yourself to do a somersault in order to roll in a hiding into a hiding place. Carlson and Peters. He hasn't we'll really talked about them. That's weird. Later. Or has he? Has I, have I just been missing them in the cutscenes? Because that's one of my favorite things. Like how he just talks about these guys, Carlson and Peters, and their guide to uh, being a perfect soldier. But yeah, we take a picture of the dog of the. Alpha section doms and send them to the Iris network. Good work, Shawnee. I'll publish it. I'll also transfer it to the governor. I'm sure she'll be willing to help you out again. And that is most of the mission for the factory. We just have one or two things left. All right, nothing else from him. So we're going to go this way. And now things start getting tricky. Huh. Do I even remember how to... Well, like you said, from over there. create a diversion, so. The truth about the horrific human traffic at the Neutropils factory. The proof in issue 513 for us. Wow, that's, that's pretty quick publishing. They don't usually do that. Incoming! Phew, they, no, they don't usually shoot at me either. That's pretty weird. Alright, so is this guy actually going to come down or is he just going to check it out? Oh, shoot, shoot, we're caught. Alright, just run away. They can't do much. <laughs> yeah, the alert's already done. I didn't think they'd actually be able to see us or anything. Huh, I don't remember how we're supposed to get past this way, actually. How did you see me? I'm nowhere near you. And just watch out for the des deadly lasers, and you're you're all set. I don't know if those will kill you immediately or not, 
I've never gotten hit by them, but I'm not about to find out. Actually, I've never died in this game, so I'm not about to find out. Ah, there we go. Alright. Kick them both. Kick them both. Get them out of here. Well, I'm pretty sure that wasn't the way we were supposed to take care of it, but whatever. whatever. <laughs> That's good enough, I suppose. It's the other thing that your disc launcher comes in handy for, just shooting them in the back like that, so. Let's see if we can... Okay, we can't jump across like that. Whatever. No, go down. Oh, more sneaking left to do. I can't remember if we're actually done with the Dom... Oh, we're not done with the Dom's mission. What am I talking about? I keep saying that we're not done with the Dom's mission. So this guy can see you through this glass also. So you just want to make sure you keep a low head. Just hide behind that little thing when he goes, back, goes past. Otherwise, this guy's pretty easy for the things we're, we're going to be seeing later on. I mean, they don't get too hard, but... They get a little tricky. Like these guys, if I remember correctly, are a little tricky. Alright, we can't jump over that way. Can they see through the class? I actually cannot remember for the life of me. Maybe they can. Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? And if they can, we're a little screwed, but whatever. Huh, okay, they can't see through the glass. That's kind of silly, but whatever. <sighs> I'm not going to complain. It makes things a little bit easier. And that guy saw us, but whatever. He just saw a glimpse of us, so he's going to be pretty good in a second. Make sure he's turned. He's good. Wait for him to turn again. Oh, he's already turned. Well, we're going to wait for this guy... We're gonna wait for this guy to go past, because as you can see, there's an item container right here, which I want to look through. So, this guy's good. Wait for this guy to turn back around again. So I think he can see us. Okay. And what did we get? We got a new key card. Pretty important. Especially because I think the door that lets us out of here uses the square key card. We're just going to wait for your partner to go by, and we're going to roll past you, and we'll be out of your hair. Where's your partner? There's your partner. All right, turn around again. There we go. And we are out of here. Just use it right here. Take down the lasers, and we're all set. And I think that's about it for this episode, guys. Just see if I can find a save machine or something. Oh, yeah, we're back here, so save machine should be right around the corner. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, what am I talking about? Save machine's right back this way. Right back near the computer room. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, Alex Fu. And next time, we'll come back here, we'll open this door, see where we're going. Alright, guys, take it easy.